At Paddington Baths, London, Puss parades herself at the Southern Counties Cat Club show. There were 412 entries. That's just 3,708 lives. Not counting the cat I left at home. I didn't say which one. Our cameraman was caught feeding them with donuts. And now success. Amelia Earhart lands in California after a great historic solo flight from Honolulu, 2,400 miles in 18 hours. And here she tells us what she thinks about it. Well, it was very interesting to me to fly in southern climate rather than in the north. On the Atlantic flight, I encountered storms and ice conditions. On this flight, practically no bad weather at all, uh, only a few little rain squalls. And I saw the moon and stars for most of the night. But in both flights, of course, I was very glad to see land. Failure and achievement. From America come two dramatic stories which tell of the hazards of the air. While on test, this passenger plane of new streamlined design crashes within a few feet of a car park just off a busy main road. She banks to land, but cars scatter as a warning shout goes up. Get out of there! She lies a heap of twisted metal, but happily the pilot escaped injury. Glasgow Varsity students give the lie to tales of Scottish saxpence banging and extract £10,000 from the zip-fastened padlock pockets of the Glaswegians. When their rag is over, they count one razor blade, an IOU for £20 and £6 in farthings. Looks too as if there'd been a rush on gas meters, for there was a tidy sum in French francs and German marks. There's no keeping the ladies out of the news. More British women drivers than ever before compete this year in the Monte Carlo Motor Rally. Many started from John O'Groats, and here are some checking in at the Glasgow Control on their way to the Channel, the first stage of this great trial of endurance. It's a real driving test. World-famous golfers go down like putts before a great gallery in the Australian Open Championship. Now Jimmy Thompson, last-minute dark horse entry from the States, Bunkers, don't worry him, are our old friend Gene Sarazen. He missed the ten and a thousand pounds, but he still smiles. This nine-foot putt by Jimmy Thompson gives him a four for 283 and the doings. The drinks are on you, Jimmy. Age and youth show their paces in the great annual cross-country event over a four-mile course near Paris. The olden's in the veterans race show the whippersnappers that they're not finished yet. No sir, life in the old dog yet. This old chap with the black beard's a marvel. He's 72 and by gad sir, he finished the course like a two-year-old. Here's the winner, Monsieur Neger. Here are the aforesaid whippersnappers. 1200 start off over the same course with great élan, I think is the word. But they thin out near the finish and young Maillard is the winner. When father says ski, we all ski and go by tram. None of your swaggered exclusiveness of winter resorts for the good people of Vienna. There are slopes in plenty around the countryside of Austria's capital and on Sunday afternoons the whole city goes in for community skiing. Winter sport right on their own Hampstead Heath as it were. Where's father? I want a shove. They're not all experts. Oh, no. Here's a lovely spill. Miss Vienna takes a tumble, but it's a great way of spending an afternoon. 